Welcome. Welcome. Here we are once again. It's the 6-6 gateway activation. This is eclipse season. Yesterday was 6-5. So we are officially in an eclipse season. This is an unusual one. It's a Trinity eclipse passage that is a major cosmic event for 2020 and won't be again until 2029. So I am Anjalia Marisa Sheehan, Kate Loy, your favorite cosmic shaman. And I'll just tell you a little bit about me if you're not familiar with me, but I love doing these activations because I'm so here for your ascension. And my greatest heart dreaming is to light up every light worker, every way shower that's here to make a difference and help you open up all your gifts and specialties. Get your ascension plans going, all your codes, your ascension codes inserted, activated, and get you out there, because we need you. We need you to help with this ascension. It takes all of us, and it's gonna be amazing. So I'm committing, as I am a gatekeeper, and I felt like this means I really need to help with opening these gateways, because if I'm a gatekeeper, I wanna be able to open all your gateways and help you to activate all that you're here for. And I'm also a seer, a master seer, which means that a lot of these journeys I do have a quality of visioning, or a visionary element, which is a little unusual. In fact, everything I do is very unusual, very creative, because I work in creation. But also as a seer and a master seer, part of my job is to look through the veil walls and open them. And I often use my unicorn mothers or my fairy, my fire fairy to help me with doing that. And we, we go right to the causal effect. And we can also, as a gatekeeper, open these gateways. So together in creation, we start opening up multidimensionally with this type of experiential session that I give. Because it's not only a reading, but it's a download, it's an upload, it's an activation, it's an initiation. All the masters and mothers come in to help us. Plus you're gonna experience high frequency. So with high frequency, sometimes you may pass out, which I always kind of love because it's blissful. But if you want to stay alert, you can rub your fingers, you can put your tongue in the top of your teeth, and you can um, open your eyes, try to sit up, but you can also feel free to lie down because you can listen to it later because I'm going to have the recording available. And I want these things to be joyful. Because you're receiving everything through your cellular memory anyway, and your higher self and your divine presence are also uploading. So it's kind of like a win-win situation no matter what. But it's always good to have an awareness of what's happening. <laughs> um, so what I want to really speak about, uh, first of all, I'll be kind of channel speaking the outline of what we're doing. And then I'm gonna go further and further into direct channeling from our special emissary team who's coming with us this evening, which is Melchizedek, Metatron. Metatron's gonna be bringing um, a Merkaba, which is what traditionally on these gateways, he brings our Merkaba of light so that we can open in more and more to this multidimensional sacred geometry that we actually are. And this geometry that Metatron brings us is something that is the most amazing, useful tool to arrive from this 3D, you know, blood, skin, bones, our mind, our ego, into the multidimensional and the 5D, because really what we want to do is get you 5D. And um, this Merkaba is magical because of that, because it's one of these mind-boggling questions of how to reach 
five dimensions when you're three dimensions, how to return back to source. So it's, it's kind of a constant cosmic question that we'll be asking. And we're always on the move. We're always in this ascension, which is really basically your, your evolution. And we're in a big, big time right now. And then, um, so Mer Metatron is going to be bringing you the Merkaba meditation that's going to light everything up. And then our other um, emissary team members, which it's Melchizedek, will bring you new light codes, diamond crystal light codes. Blue Mother Mary is going to share about the quality of love and how the importance of love is contributing to the higher light and accelerating our dimensions as we grow out of limitations of the 3D. And Baba G is going to be holding open a new cord with a light language transmission, which opens this new doorway of coming into accord. I love this, like coming into accord with all things. And so he's bringing cords to bring us into accord. And it's really har harmonies. It's often why I use gongs, because they're an overlay of, of overlaying over tones, which bring together a type of resonance that it, it creates this cohesive weave that we want to become. <laughs> it's so it's such an interesting challenge to speak of how to become reconnected to source. But I try. And hopefully you will understand. <laughs> Kuan Yin is also bringing us um, acknowledges acknowledgement about how all the distress of this time and the instability that is oh, it's opening the hearts of humanity and that all is well as we reestablish a new dimensional heart of great compassion and caring and then the unicorn mothers are going to be bringing forward a deeper learning of the true nature of your magical heart the place of innocence the place of new beginnings and the state of grace that's needed for miracles we've got to create. So that's what you've got ahead of us. And what part, the, part of think, the part of these gateway openings that's important to me to share is that we, we come to these master numbers like 6-6. Six, six. I chose to do this on 6-6 six, six versus yesterday on the full moon lunar eclipse because then we kind of really do both. And we're in a gateway, which is like a portal. And when we get to the gateway, we can receive the consciousness shifts and then move through it. So we start beginning the manifesting of this ne next shift. And, and it, these, these gateway activations assist with the transition. So it's easier, it's more joyful. You won't have as much ascension pains. You know, there's a lot of, issues going on with the eclipses. Well, I'll speak a little bit about the eclipses and then I'll speak a little bit more about what's going on, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna be continuing to do these eclipse um, ceremonies because there's this trinity that's happening and it's happening this spring, summer. So yesterday was our first <clears throat> full moon lunar eclipse and do drink a lot of water. And on, um, we're going to have a summer solstice new moon eclipse on Saturday. That's, and the, each one is a little different. The lunar ones are um, more about emotions, and the, the new moon ones are more about uh, activations. And um, then on July 4th and 5th, we're going to have another full moon lunar eclipse. And each one is going to be stirring things up. Alrighty. So on June 5th, um, many planets in this full moon lunar eclipse were in retrograde. And this is the lunar eclipse that we are in the middle of, of this deep cleansing process of the deep shadow. And the lunar eclipse at 15 degrees Sagittarius works with the emotional and all that feels separate or divides us, it, it's coming up and coming forth to clear. And that's also very obvious with the political and social tensions 
like not only have we had the immense impact of the COVID virus 19 and the reset and the calming, or is really in my personal opinion about this innerscape of the divine feminine returning where we, we all commit to the being quality because for 5,000 years, we've been more in the masculine Piscean era of the driving masculine force and the feminine is the being, the mysterious, the unknown, the mercurial, and often it's called the dark, which is also the voidal, and the voidal is unconditional. And with the divine feminine coming back, we're returning to the balance that's needed that we all have within us. And this divine feminine return is this great mother that watches out for everybody equally. And it's kind of like the question of why humanity hasn't thrived on this earth and the earth isn't striving with humanity. And it's because we need this um, ingredient, let's say, that is part of our cosmic alchemy where everything can start to become come to us. Like our thoughts and our words and our deeds start making things happen because we are co-creators and we've just been thwarted and um, implanted and manipulated basically for a lot of non-positive reasons. I won't go into that right now because we're going to move through anything that's negative. But what, what's happening with the things like the, this, the pandemic and also the positive part of what's happening with all of this movement of Black Lives Matter and All Lives Matter, right? And everyone has a voice that Black have a voice and that we're heard, that everyone is, has a voice and we're heard. And so a lot of these things are things that haven't been dealt with. And everything in this time period of ascension, all the things that are dysfunctional are going to have to come for, up for review. So there is going to be a great deal of change. And we'll have to look into that and get used to that. So a lot of this work that I'm doing helps you with that change, um, helps you rise out of the fear and into the deeper trust and the knowing through the resonances that as you begin to get used to this level work and other spiritual work, your, your soul and your heart start saying, absolutely, yes, I know this is true. May, may not be what my mind is thinking or my ego is wanting, but I know this is really important. This is the thing that has to happen. And that's what we want when we start entering into our heart realm and our higher selves in our divine presences. And what I also call our avatar. Um, I'm teaching workshops on avatar also that you might want to look into because that's the ascended part of ourselves that knows their mission and knows what to do. And everybody who's interested in this work, at least my work, is very much for the, like, the initiates and those that are the seekers and the star seeds and the way showers and the light workers and all of you who are here and know you came here to change this world, to become the new world. So I'm here for you. Alrighty. So the eclipses stir up your cosmic soup pot. That's what I call it. And with them brings change, movement, movement forward, transformation shape shifting and shifts that represent our new order for the highest good and these shifts may seem problematic or difficult or you may see but if you choose to see them as your teacher you may be pushed by this current to recognize and address the change that is truly needed and like the toxins or viruses or bacteria or, or even parasites, they're pushed to the surface and then they can be released from the holding patterns. So notice any stuck situations, physically, 
emotionally, mentally in your life and see them as life reflections. And any old woundings, especially core wounds, um, there's, we've been working through a lot of the Atlantean, Lemurian, Egyptian core wounding of the times when humanity, you know, failed and um, it's those traumas were previously living within us. And even the pandemic brought up a lot of old fear of um, different plagues and different other times where humanity was killed off, let's say, or did not survive. And what that's doing is really just calling up those wounds because we are all eternal, our souls are eternal, and the, any, anyone who's choosing to pass in a way, is they've chosen that. It seems like it's accidental, but when you look from the higher picture, they've said, mm, this ascension is just too difficult for me, and I'm going to go to a much more beautiful place. <laughs> um, and that's one, one level of looking at it. And so these wounds, when we, they're examined and brought to the surface, like I often call my work like we're laundering everything. We're bringing it out into the light, into the air. And then it can be healed. And it can be healed through love. And so everything is calling to be balanced, reorganized, and harmonized. So do not fear any catharsis, as it is the movement and the progress forward. And we, are, we have to evolve, right? So action is called for. And, and Mars is in the astrology now is forcing an intense anger and resentment at the old corrupted systems. And that's extremely prevalent with the situation with um, different, different, in fact, almost every city the police department are acting in a terrible, terrible um, dominating and hurting and killing people that were of color or people who are patiently protesting. So it's extremely um, challenging, but what's being called for is this clearing that these systems are corrupt and they're all it's all right out there so in a way it's kind of like i look at it like yeah it's out there so what do we do and how do we make change and that's what hopefully humanity is going to be able to do because obviously our government is not and it's really up to society the Sakyong Nipam Rinpoche once said that the next Buddha is spiritual community. So if you think of that as an overpicture, it's a beautiful thing to think about, but it really means kind of like what's happening, this, this rise and call to action. So all dysfunction in our world is being reviewed and must evolve and must change. All oppression, racism, prejudice, hierarchy, out, oligarchy is out in the open, including our president. He's doing all these things that are absolutely not presidential material, <laughs> to be kind, but they're being seen like by on Twitter and, and on television and cable newses. And so it's a, it's a shift from things being hidden. So this is a long awaited revolution of and for the rights of humanity. And that this involves the greater good of all beings. And the old world is coming to a close as the new world is anxiously awaiting its birth. So we are in a great birthing process. Painful as it may be. And speaking of pain, you may be experiencing what's called ascension pains. Like with the eclipse, you might find emotional things or stuck things in your thoughts or in your emotions or in your body. And it's 
it, there's so many ways to help work through it, but try to balance, try to put, send love to those parts, take a sea salt bath, um, I love to use essential oils even, and stay in nature, just so you feel a different lightening of the burden. And the burden is representing by the pain. But because we, we, are, we are moving through our physical body also, it's really good to have physical movement, I found. Because it's like, not only does it help with the stress, but the flow throughout your entire body. Because our, our bodies are multidimensional already, and they're cosmic bodies. So we just have to light them up and lighten them up. Um, so the letting go process. This 6-5 and 6-6 gateway portal is yet another passing through old timelines. It's the letting go process which is essential to clear a path for the new. The new timelines are being collectively co-created. This is the ascension process. So as we move through this gateway, a new fresh start begins each time to continue the good work to the clarity, the love, the unity, and the peace that you are looking for, that we are looking for, and that as a collective, we are working for. So as we develop this new paradigm, we enlighten it through the third dimension, through the fourth, to the fifth, and maybe higher. So our job, if you so choose, is to unite. And as a collective, a collective consciousness that knows the importance of how things should be that is willing to work for it and to contribute what is needed. We are literally building the new earth here and now. So what we're gonna be receiving tonight in the 6-6 gateway activation, we're opening the doorway to build a new tradition. Be purified and receive divine assistance in the form of photonic plasma light. We'll receive divine dispensations from the masters, activations, and initiations, as well as the ships of light, the Galactic Federation, the Federation of Light will join us. We'll be cleansing and purifying your field from the old and dysfunctional energies. And as we stand in the gateways, we will receive master recalibration energies from the enlightened ones and the ships of light. If we're lucky, we'll do some planetary service. We open to our own holy doorways to accept more of our multidimensionality, our truth of our expanded nature, raising our frequency, our vision, and our ability to know the way forward as our new and cleansed heart of oneness, bridging our way home. So let's begin. So I'm going to begin by calling in and creating our sacred temple here and using geranium. As I call in the Holy Mothers, Great Mothers, I call in the Holy Fathers, Great Fathers, Creator all that there is. Mother, Father, God, Goddess, Gaia, Sophia, Source, we call upon you now. As we call upon the divine presence and the higher self of all who are joining us and all who see this video in the future, that it is always present, everything that you will be receiving and will continue to work within you. We call in the seven archangels of the earth, Archangel Mikiel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Camuel, 
Archangel Jophiel, Archangel Zadkiel, Archangel Uriel. And we ask to open the seven gateways around us. As a seven pointed star is activated, we ask to balance and harmonize all the elements of earth, air, wind, fire, water, and ether. We call for this beautiful seven pointed star to ground and anchor us deep into the earth, around the earth. And just wrapping our cord around Mother Gaia three times from our umbilical cord. Connecting to this great mother as we are her child. And this is to stabilize and anchor us as we stabilize and anchor all above to the earth. And we open now a temple. A great sacred temple around this activation that opens all around this earth. And it's an extremely large and beautiful temple of creation. Ascension and creation. As we call now for our ascended master team, for the magical beings, the inner earth, the middle earth, for the angels, the archangels, the Elohim, the Aloha, the karmic board, the Galactic Councils, the Federation of Light. The Ashtar. As we call now to Metatron, Master Lord Metatron, to build our Merkaba. to calibrate us, our Merkaba body of light. And I'll show you before I begin, this is what a Merkaba looks like. Seven pointed, three dimensional, multi-dimensional, with an upwards pointing pyramid of the earth merged with a downward pointing triangle of heaven, heaven on earth. And it's a multidimensional vehicle that can move in all directions and we have one. And then we can create them as a group Merkaba. So this is a facility and a tool and you can use this as a meditation and mud Metatron brings us every time with these gateways because we go to the gateway entrance together. So we go now into your heart, beloved ones. This heart begins to ring like a bell, Metatron shares. 
that deep inside your heart is a glowing and an acknowledgement of acceptance that something is about to happen. And deep inside your heart, it remembers the very beginning of all time, the very beginning of the origin, the origin, the law of origin. As well as the zero point. So breathe in deeply. Every time you breathe in, you are an acceptance. And you receive the transmissions more profoundly. And on every exhale, you are in the letting go process. And this breath that you have, that you own, that is with you every moment is also a tool that assists you in this progress. So as we begin to focus our energies, our focus on this heart, it becomes a flame. At first a very small flame. And as you center and become quieter, this flame begins to grow to show it has three colors. It has a blue, it has a gold, it has a pink flame, the three fold flame. This is your signature, your keepership, and is unique to you. Just breathing in and allowing this flame to go deeper into your heart and sit down and to the back defined almost like a notch or a slight spot where the sweet spot is and it clicks in and all of a sudden there's a steadiness. And as the steadiness grows, this is what meditation is all about. It is to steady you in the circulation. It is your higher light, heart mind. And it is a steadying factor that will carry you through any situation, trauma, or turbulence that you may find yourself meeting in these months and years ahead. So just to know this spot, this special spot, this sweet spot is indeed valuable, we say. As this affects your self-esteem, and sits almost upon the solar plexus. And is a leader 
Metatron Jairus. So as this flame is leading us, it is taking us deeper and deeper into that mystery as you gaze into a flame where you drop away and you enter into like another zone or realm we're going to bring you in deeper with the light language transmission activation as it will help with the multidimensionality of your own receptivity. Breathe into the back of your heart. Su yu ma yu kai hu karu ye aru ye u ye u ye u kalu ye u ye u ye u kalu. Buddhists and monks here around us. And I see this vision in Tibet where there are gonging, an ancient gong on the top of a very high building overlooking a great vast valley and expanse the great calling out to all humanity Go to the hearts of all humanity. Now there are special ceremonial dresses and men with red feathery caps that are playing these extremely long horns, Tibetan horns, that are also calling this wake up. Oh. This sound is going through the ley line, the energy current in the base of this triangular valley. It's moving through the ley lines that goes directly around the center of the earth. around the belt of the center of the earth, this ascension belt. And this is calling up
creation currents, great ancient creation currents that haven't been called forth. This is an important call. And there are beautiful beings like white dragons that are moving up now, that are moving and coming out of those ley lines, those dragon lines. They're being set free. And there's one that's now embodying us. It's come into us. As we become symbiotic and I as a surrogate. We receive this as an empowerment. Let us bow to that empowerment and thank it and receive it. For you must receive these embodiments when they show up. And they say this gives us a new level of freedom that liberation is being called out for. And that this will give us a new opportunity to liberate ourselves, to liberate others. That this is called for, this is important. And this marks this new territory ahead. That is really about liberation. So they say, bookmark this, remember this. And in the near future, when things go awry, realize that they are bringing forth liberation. And that we that are watching here are part of a great new earth tribe movement. So let's take a deep breath in as we thank that white dragon that has given us this liberation encodement. And we go back to Metatron who is showing us that we took a great leap, a great step in that transmission of sound from the Tibetan monks. That our flame has now multidimensionally opened the shape shifting of our Merkaba. Our Merkaba is very large now, it's the size of our body. And the planes of this Merkaba are holographic. They are reflective at some points, and at some points they have variable colors, a variegation of colors, of rainbow, that as it shifts and changes, it may move through different colorations. And this Merkaba is extremely potent as a protector that each reflective shield in its construction, in its sacred geometry, is rebalancing and balancing 
at extremely high octaves. So that anything that comes towards it is reflected or shattered, pushed back, and may not enter. As Metatron brings us a ring not enter, so that nothing may enter, that we have an imperviability that our field is extremely dense and impenetrable. That this Merkaba has a, an amazing and magical ability to be both impenetrable and extremely open. Because it is vibrating at such a high, high level that nothing from any lower dimensions or lower entities or thought forms, nothing can attach or cling to it. So as our Merkaba begins to activate, it is also clearing like a laundromat, it is washing anything in our chakras, anything in our auric field. Anything that is troubling you or that you have issues with, any fear, so we are just working with fear now as it is very prevalent with our sense of security and thriving, stability. So there is a smaller seven-pointed star within the larger seven-pointed star, three-dimensional, that is appearing now. And it has an onyx, Exterior, deep, impenetrable, voidal of the void. And it is matching and marrying with any darkness, any fears or lower orders as the voidal is absolute and unconditional love where everything is all the same. There is no differences, dark or light or light or dark. It is all held within the void. And this moves through any belief systems that have created the separation as it moves into the brain and the hemispheres of the brain. As the differences begin to collapse 
an alliance begins to build the left, the right, the masculine, the feminine hemispheres and sides of our body, pillars of our great pillar that we are. So we breathe now with this beautiful, deep, mysterious, smaller seven-pointed Merkaba. And breathe it up through our heart, our thymus, especially in the thymus, which is like the captain of our endocrine system and holds a great deal of apprehension and fear and anxiety about things that may happen. So we're holding it in our thymus, which is also the relationship chakra. And will it hold any, call in any relationships we're having a problem with. As this spins, anti-clockwise, counterclockwise. And it's raising its vibrational field as it's absorbing anything that is out of balance with absolute unconditional love in this voidal chamber. Just keep breathing into your thymus and into this exquisitely beautiful black Merkaba, which I actually I have a zeolite one upstairs. I wish I had it to show you. I'll put it on my blog. And spinning that until you don't feel any tension, any fear of things being done to you or people doing things or things happening or lack of things happening or irritation. Any feelings of feeling things can't change. And let's move into the throat. Feeling uh, any density there. Any holding, any harbingers of old and ancient even difficulties with your voice, with your communications, with your essence with your talents, with your abilities. And this is a very creative chakra and it connects with your sacral, your creation chakra and your sacral chakra. But right now there's a great deal with this liberating force that needs to be brought into the air to be heard. So any situations where you don't feel heard, it's time to speak up with kindness and with the consciousness that things are going to resolve easily. So we're spinning, now we're spinning clockwise at the throat chakra. You may want to move your throat around. We're moving now to the back of the nape of the neck, right at the center most point at the back of your nape of your neck is called the zeal, Z-E-A-L, point. Now it's moving back and forth, this mini voidal Merkaba, back and forth breaking down the wall of this point called the heaven's gate or the window to the heavens that is often shut down or closed down or implanted. So we want to really breathe into that zeal point and breathe out 
that which is not your truth, that which does not resonate with you, who you are, who you came here to be. Now we're moving up to the brow chakra. And there's a great force here. You may feel like a, almost like a round, big doorway that's breaking open. Oh, really just breathing in, because this is, I'm going to use my crystal. Like I'm going to use my rattle. This is very clogged. Breathing into that brow chakra. Much better. <sighs> Breathing into that doorway of the brow chakra. If it's not ready to open now, we ask it to open in its own divine timing. And some things are shy and some things are afraid to open. But when we hold these fearful parts in the sacred ceremonies with all the councils here, they know themselves as love and light and innocence. Uh, uh, uh. Good. Do a lot of burping to release. <laughs> okay, good. That was important to say for the brow chakra that it knows <laughs> everything is in its own divine timing <laughs> and that nobody can force it to open. <laughs> but when it's ready, <laughs> it can gently open <laughs> and show the next way. Show the future or the path. And be able to see again. But this is a new time. It's not the old times of the old failure of the ascension plans, of the evolution. This is the now time. Sometimes we get frozen in old traumas. And we say this is now. No need to worry. It's all new and divinely guided. So we keep breathing into that gateway at the brow chakra. When it begins to open the gateway between the hemispheres of the brain, the masculine, on the left, because it switches over, and the feminine on the right. And this corpus callosus, that's this white bridge between the two, that there is an opening in the front of the corpus callosus near the brow chakra, which is interesting, often it opens in the back. So this is a new level of opening right at the brow. And so any of those of you that are seers, are visionaries, 
This may have been something that was from a past failure of a large collapse like Lemuria, Atlantis, Egypt. Now we move with our breath through this corpus callosus. It's a bridge for the higher dimensions for the telepathy. As we go to the pineal gland in the center of the brain and bring a tiny version of this Merkaba, the black voidal obsidian Merkaba, into the pineal gland where it begins to vibrate at extremely high octaves and shards can fall off of any old carbon or detritus calcification of the pineal. or anything that may be keeping it from its full vibratory force. And that it can know this absolute love. As we also go to the amygdala now, the amygdala, the amygdala, the amygdala, where a lot of fear is, the hypothalamus, the hypothalamus, the hypothalamus, to the reptilian part of the brain, and to any genome in there of the parasitical. It may have originally been part of this, the, the reptilian part of the brain that we each carry. We ask this voidal obsidian Merkaba to vibrate out of the field of violation, disturbance, vampiric, and recalibrate Reconnect. To higher coordinates, higher octaves that have not even yet been obtained, that this has an unlimited level of expansion available to it now. And a beautiful diamond Merkaba is put in its place. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. And now we go to the mammalia part of the brain with the voidal obsidian small Merkaba of absolute love. and work with any fear, the fright or flight part of the body. From the mammalia part of the brain. Or any limitations that may hold. Or connections that may hold to connect us to all living beings. It is begins to open its swirls in this reconnecting that we're all part of one another. That we're working for a one brain, one heart mind. And that swirls out into a greater 
cosmic galaxy even. It continues to unfold as we go now to the left ear to the receptivity chakra. And we just pull anything that is keeping that receptivity on all levels, including your heart receiving, pulling out old detritus, garbage and junk, negative thoughts and beliefs that are not needed any longer for safety or for the any reason the ego thinks. Good. Let's go to the right, to the transmission chakra outside the right ear. Just pulling out of the transmission chakra. Anything that's kept you afraid of transmitting, voicing. Giving, giving with your heart, rebalancing these two chakras. The giving is receiving and receiving is giving as now a beautiful infinity sign, a silver infinity sign begins to loop through these two chakras and through the corpus callosus. Creating a greater and greater field around us, growing our Merkaba and its ability to be limitless as it downloads all that we are moving through and receiving. And this infinity sign goes now and moves right between at the top of the nose to the point of cosmic consciousness it begins to blend right there at the point of cosmic consciousness. And we can bring the small Merkaba, the dark, voidal, obsidian Merkaba into this point of cosmic consciousness. And moving up to the hairline, to the atomic point with the figure eight, silver figure eight, looping through this point at the point of cosmic consciousness, I mean the point of atomic point. And also with that voidal loving Merkaba. begins to swirl around the top of the crown chakra and we open the telepathic ring of, of crystals all around your brow chakra. A beautiful large ring and we look into each crystal to see if it's lit with its own Christed flame and we're lighting each flame, and if it's gray or dark, we are lighting that up and transmitting, transmuting any darkness in any of these crystals for all those that are here now and will be seeing this transmission, receiving it. As we're also working collectively for the collective consciousness. So as we are working, there's, they're telling me that this is creating a greater sense of confidence 
with your own ability to become more telepathic that it connects with that opening that we created in the mammalia and the reptilian parts of the brain where we have a deeper connection with all things that we're not limited that we're liberated we are liberating ourselves together here let's go to the next ring of crystals at the crown chakra check those for light and dark and bright flames and they begin to get brighter as more christed light flows and comes into these like two rings of golden light now one at the brow one at the crown and then we check the one at the soul star and immediately lights up and there's more light coming in now and let's go up all of the crystals the crystal rings the halos above us all the way up 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 as far as they can go as far as your willing as far as your ascension will allow you to move up we ask they continue to move up 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 into the heaven realms As the Elohim and the Aloha are there, accepting it with us. And 12 ships of light are around this column of light that we have sent up now through our pillars, connected to our Merkabas. And these 12 ships of light create their own sacred geometry. And they offer us their service. And they share they are bringing us a deep warming a warming and glowing of our kindred nature so that as we grow into our understanding of our multidimensionality we realize our extraterrestrial, our Christed extraterrestrial nature, our galactic nature, our celestial nature, our universal nature. Oh, so much more light now. Mary beginning to spin counterclockwise. these spirals of light that are moving down over us in our chakra system that are creating this warming this glowing and this light this love it is again bring us into this we all are one we are all of the common goal And they say that this will create a type of a union, a union that is very needed for humanity. That is the part that is so separate that needs this. The part that's so alienated <laughs> has been frightened of its own extra terrestrial nature. 
that it has been forbidden and frozen to know its true nature. That these are more fears that are coming in the future and that these transmissions will assist with that as will this Merkaba of light. That many are yearning for contact, yet they say contact is already and always has been here. It is just a matter of time before the exchanges telepathically begin to illuminate a great shifting in communication that we will begin to more easily understand our higher selves, our divine presences, the masters, the teachers, the wisdom keepers, the ancient ones, the magical beings. And we'll be given messages, codes and matrixes that will feed us. There will be resources for us. And this will bring us into this great enlightenment but it is like a type of flooding, being flooded with so many beautiful enlightened beings, magical beings and ancient indigenous wisdom keepers, our ancient elders, It is quite a time of glory they share that the Akashic records will be open and more easily read. And even the great Sphinx comes now and she shares she is a leader she is here to help us lead our way home. She has been the original writer of the script of this Ascension plan that we are on. She has been patiently waiting for us. That this is a sure thing, as it is the original plan, the blueprint, the origin, the Adam Cadman, the tree of life. the Vesquia Pisces, the Heros Gamos. That these are movements that are here to bring the inside outside, the outside inside, the above below, the below above and the return of oneness. As now they show us the great father, solar sons joining us in this Merkaba meditation, this gateway passage The sun begins to glow.
beginning above us in the soul star. The solar sun, the great central sun, the great, great central sun. As the solar sun comes down into the crown, becoming bigger and brighter, and we're still in our Merkaba, and it's vibrating at a very high rate, which also helps us to assimilate all that we're receiving into the body, into the mind, into the emotions, into our auric field. So the sun is getting larger and larger. And it's moving down now through the chakras and through the heart. Sitting in the heart, growing larger and larger. We're now moving into, beneath our feet, into the earth star with the great, the solar sun. The solar sun and the earth star beneath our feet, getting brighter and brighter. As now the great central sun is moving from above through the soul star slowly sitting in the heart. And the great, great central sun is moving slowly down and into the soul star. These three great solar libraries that know and acknowledge you for who you are. and beam their light upon you, all pockets and levels of you, that you may know them and they may know you, that you may know the knowledge of these libraries of light once more. And they grow and more and more light spreads through you as you build your Merkaba and it becomes happier and happier, like there's a giant smile in your Merkaba that's saying you're doing a great job. Isn't this wonderful? So we have this great light now that we want to bring down through our lower chakras, bringing down into the earth star, into the voidal womb of Mother Earth and Yamalaya. Into the creation womb. Of Mother Earth. Into the temples of creation in Mother Earth in all the portals as we begin to do some planetary service now, spreading this through all the portals of the earth. Whoa, that feels so great. It moves through the gateways, through the sacred portals, the sacred sites, opening the doorways of any and all pathways that are overlighted by the Mother Sphinx and this ascension plan. And they begin to move on the outside of the earth through all the ley lines, through the field of the earth, through the matrix of the earth, this light, this love, all that we've received, 
this liberation. It's moving and growing and the whole earth is beginning to vibrate from its core. It's a violet magma, flaming core. It's vibrating a great sun inside of it that is growing. And creating an expansion that is a new type of a definition of the earth and of humanity that is of such great beauty there is no way to express this yet that there is extreme joy extreme purity extreme innocence, extreme courage. It holds all the universal laws. It is the point of our origin. Rielo ma qui me we se che walengo lo madu rodu da bue ge che madu rosu chi se madu re da luda sa chi ke matu pe ge che me que 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 che que 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 che que 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 hey we le we we wo cho que que ma que ha lo che wo yo Seventeenth dimensional creation mother is here. She is thanking you to do this work with her. So we may weave the new world. Must lay down a good foundation. And build it from the ground up. Won't you help us? She says you have all the skills. Won't you help us? Let us do this together. Anchor heaven on, on earth. To 
build a temple here on earth. A golden pyramid. As beautiful as Giza. It connects us to all other planets. An entirely new paradigm. All the other planets have been waiting. This is our time to ascend. Let us make peace. Breathe into all we have received. In this new earth transmission, as we move through the gateway into more light, more love, more ability to make these changes. As you build your light, your love, your Merkaba, your creation currents, you will transcend the old. You'll put up a fight for the new and venture into this new and exquisite new world. We are the light workers, the explorers, the way showers, the star children, the unicorns, the fays, the magical ones, the initiates that are coming back on board. With all these enlightened assistances, we are so grateful that we are here to help the new human, the new earth, and as the sacred portals awaken, much needed help is heard from all the realms. Of the other upper six realms and the lower six realms of our own multidimensional totem and of the vast level of our multidimensional reality. Our beautiful Merkaba, multidimensional Merkaba. And of our avatar, our ascended nature, our avatar. So let us bring our avatars on board with our Merkabas, our higher selves, our divine presences, our totems. And as we gain momentum together, we become the new humans, the new earth tribe, the new earth shamans, creating heaven on earth. My dream to your dream, so be it. So let us thank all the masters and Metatron for this Merkaba, bringing all that we've received in to our hearts once more, into our places we're living, into our homes, giving all that we've received away now to our children, to our loved ones, to our society, our community, our economy, our politics, the world. That is giving is receiving, receiving is giving in a win-win 5D world. And we also thank my 17th dimensional creation mother who has never come in before. So this was a great honor. And I want to say that this is going to be available on my blog, on my website, on my YouTube channel, on Facebook. And also I'll be doing um, the other um, upcoming um, uh, full moon on 620, the new moon eclipse summer solstice and the July 4th, 5th full moon lunar eclipse. We'll be doing gateway activations then also. So please join us and look for avatar teachings that are coming up. See you soon. Thank you for being the New Earth Tribe and check me out on Instagram. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.